What's up everyone, it's Steen here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video we're going to cover one of the best 3D models in terms of like generative models out there. Uh, so this is going to be Hun Yuan 3D. Now this is one of the most popular 3D models right now. As you can see with 3 billion model parameters, one minute processing speed. It also has high res geometry and high resolution texture as well. It's one of the best 3D model generators, um, AI 3D model generators and text to image 3D generators out there. So uh, obviously here you can see a little bit about shape generation, what Hun Yuan is using, uh, texture synthesis and how the uh, textures are looking like as you can see. So this is nothing uh, ever seen before. Now Hun Yuan also has, this is a 2.0 model by the way. So this is better than 1.0 model which was previously announced. Uh, and uh, this model also can be used in Blender. So if you are uh, maybe using Blender, you can use a Blender add-on. This is how it looks like right here. And you can also, so if you hit play, and you can also, uh, you know, have the API URL here and you can uh, basically put, you know, any text and you can generate your 3D models that way. I'm not sure why the video uh, is not working right now, but what we are going to cover in this video is we're going to be covering, um, you know, how to use it, that's primarily, and then secondary, we will see what type of uh, images uh, and 3D models uh, this can also generate. So as you can see, high precision geometry generation, we can see right here, it also looks really, really cool and the details are really cool as well. So that's something that, you know, got to keep in mind. And as you can see here, some of the details, as you can see, looks pretty damn sweet, honestly. So uh, obviously we can change here the, um, you know, the texture. Uh, so that may take some time here. Um, but yeah, so uh, let me just go here and let me uh, pull my hotspot here. And we will actually go into Hun Yuan 3D2. So this is hosted on Hugging Face. For those of you who want to try this out, simply go to Hugging Face slash Spaces, type in Hun Yuan 3D, and then you will be able to go here and you have a text prompt, and then you also have an image. So here are some of the models um, you know that we already have. So this is an image that we already have within uh, the image gallery. We also have text to 3D uh, gallery as well. So for example, if you click here, a pot of green plants growing in a red flower pot, we can generate shape only. We also have advanced options here. So you can obviously change the seed and stuff like that. So let's generate shape only. And as you can see, usually it takes around 60 seconds to actually, uh, you know, this to be generated. Keep in mind also that since we are hosting this online, it's going to take some time because we're using GPU from other people. Uh, so that's something also to take into account. Um, and as you can see, we're currently in the generating process. So let's see what we can came up with here. So as you can see, after 60 seconds, we have uh, a uh, shape, right? Uh, so this is a shape. And by the way, this is not the text prompt that we have here. This is actually the uh, image. We actually uh, generated a shape only. So that's something that we can do as well right here, as you can see. Now generate uh, generated textured mesh, we can also do that. So we can go and uh, click on, you know, shape and texture. So we can also click that and then we'll have to wait a little bit for that to be done. Again, we have GPU here, so we'll have to wait a couple of seconds here for that to be done. So as you can see, successfully acquired a GPU. This means that, you know, basically we got a GPU because again, we're doing this online. We're not using our own GPU for this. So uh, again, bear in mind um, that again, it does take some time, right? Even though it's a, a very advanced AI model, AI generative model, it does take some time right here. So as you can see, it took around 100 seconds and this is uh, the final generated texture mesh. So this is how it looks like, looks really clean. Honestly, I don't think any uh, 3D generator, model generator or AI 3D model generator comes close to this. This is really clean, really crisp, and I really like the details as well on it. Now, obviously this is not something too perfect, but it definitely d does the job done. So I think this is, 
easily eight out of 10 in terms of how it can uh, create from an image, how it can create uh, the 3D model. So that's one thing, right? The second thing what we can do is let's try the text prompt right here. So we have a pot of green plants in the flower. So let's hit enter here or actually a lovely rabbit here. So here we can generate. So let's remove this. Let's go with this one, generate shape only. And as you can see, we're waiting for GPU to become available. So yeah, I'll just cut it here and uh, yeah, let's go right into the uh, this one here again. As you can see, uh, it did took around 60 seconds and this is it, right? And obviously this looks quite good. Again, we can also add a generated texture mesh if we want to it. But overall, I think this is a, a very, very high quality 3D image generator, not just image, but also a model generator first and foremost, right? And you can also install this locally on your machine, which, you know, for this case, I think that might be a good uh, option. Now, keep in mind, you do have, even in this version, you do have a limit. Uh, so again, I think there's one image prompt and one text prompt, and then you're pretty much done or one image prompt with uh, shape and texture and you're done. So make sure you, you know that before you actually go and before you actually, uh, you know, uh, start using it. So uh, as you can see here, are some 3D models uh, from Hunyan uh, that, um, you know, other people generated as well. Um, again, you can also visit their website to see more about, you know, what they can do uh, in terms of if you want to use this or not. Again, you can use this in Blender, you can use this online like I did, and you can use it locally. So again, it's totally up to you. Definitely good model. Uh, the overview of this model was pretty decent, honestly, eight out of 10. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. But uh, if you want more videos just like this one covering a bunch of different AI tools, check out our channel for more. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.